Of recent, the number of people seeking for DNA paternity tests has increased in the country, resulting into increased social disharmony among families. The Minister for Health, Dr. General Ruther Cheng, has issued guidelines to regulate DNA paternity testing in the country. No laboratory or any facility shall ship any samples for DNA paternity testing outside the country except with special clearance from the Director General of Health Services and or Uganda National Council for Science and Technology. Five, any laboratory that is prepared and wants to do DNA paternity testing can apply to the Director General of Health Services who will set up a team of experts to assess the laboratory, its equipment, and personnel for certification. Aching also informed the country that only two laboratories are certified to carry out DNA paternity testing in the country. Only the two certified and accredited laboratories, that is the Government Analytical Laboratory in Wandegea and the MBN Clinical Laboratory on Nakasero Road, both in Kampala, shall be allowed to do DNA paternity testing in Uganda for now. The minister noted that the government has instructed the Department of National Health Laboratory to work with the National Drug Authority and Uganda Revenue Authority to ensure that fake rapid DNA testing kits are not allowed in the country. There have been suspicions that some unscrupulous agents might have smuggled fake equipment or reagents can call them kits for DNA paternity testing into the country. I have been informed of some rapid diagnostic tests purported to be home-based DNA test kits, some of which are available online. These RDTs or rapid diagnostic tests are not validated for use in Uganda and therefore are not allowed into the country whether for use in public or in the private sector. The minister also cautioned the traditional media and social media to report any DNA paternity testing responsibly to avoid negative impact on the mental health on affected children, families and society at large. Zahra Abigaba. UBC News.